Hello, dear students. Welcome back once again in my channel, Chemistry and Engineering. And this is Dr. Jyoti Shegokar. Uh, guys, uh, our channel is totally made for the study of chemistry, particularly engineering chemistry. Nearly all the topics according to the uh, National Education Policy 2020, which are there, they are covered. And now some topics which are remaining, we will work on it. So our today's topic of discussion is hydrogen as a green fuel. When hydrogen is used as a green fuel, what are the different type of uh, productions means? What are the way to produce green hydrogen? What are the applications of green hydrogen? What are the advantages of green hydrogen and how it can be stored? All these topics will get covered in our today's video. So guys, already I wrote all the things in this on this board and uh, so that there there will be uh, require very less time. So uh, first point you can see here, which is uh, wrote by the red colored pen, it is production, means how hydrogen is produced. Before that somewhat introductory, we will see guys, that is hydrogen, which is there is found in very much abundance in the environment. And as that abundant hydrogen can be used for the purposes like the uh, producing energy, which can be utilized anywhere for the electric vehicles, for the different type of um, uh, batteries, for the different uh, producing the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell which can be used for the very much different type of purposes like aircraft like in ships like in anywhere it can be used so the hydrogen which is found in ample amount if it is used for the purpose of more energy product production it will be very much beneficial and it is one of the green source as that hydrogen is produced by some green waste that is why solar wind or hydropower type of energy so guys our first point is electrolysis of water so production how hydrogen is produced which is called as a greenhouse whether it is a green colored no, it is just hydrogen which is produced by renewable energy sources that is called as a green hydrogen. So first point is electrolysis of water. Water H2O which is found in the environment, it is splitted by using electrolyzers that is called as a electrolysis of water. So water which is present in the environment is splitted in hydrogen and oxygen with a high pressure and high temperature by using electrolyzers. So electrolyzers is nothing but electricity which is used and that electricity it is from what type of sources on that it will depend that whether that hydrogen will be green or not. So if the powers or if the energy which is used to produce that hydrogen is a green energy that is electrolyzers will get the green energy that is from the solar power that is from the wind energy that is from the again the hydropower if that energy is used to convert the water that is h2o into hydrogen and oxygen differently so that is that will be the green hydrogen as it is produced from the renewable energy sources. So it is produced uh, nowadays in a lot amount, uh, higher amount a lot. And uh, here I wrote already that proton exchange membrane and solid oxide electrolyzers. These are the names of some advanced type of electrolyzers which are used and they are increasing the efficiency to produce hydrogen means maximum amount of hydrogen will be produced. And at the same time, they will have a low cost that is in low amount uh, of uh, cost, the higher amount of hydrogen will be produced. So this is one of the way to produce hydrogen. Now second biomass gasification, biomass which is nothing but the waste. So waste it is to be managed. It is one of the challenge in front of the um, people that how will be that uh, uh, waste can be managed. So here when that waste is used to produce hydrogen and that hydrogen can be there for producing a lot of energy. So it will be very much advantageous for the human being as well as for the non-living things also. So biomass gasification means all the biomass which is there can be treated with a water. Means the biomass which is having already carbon and uh, that is water in it. So the minimum amount of water when it is used and it is treated with carbon, there is a formation of hydrogen and carbon monoxide in the first reaction. While the same carbon monoxide and water next molecule will be treated, there will be, the, there will be the formation of second molecule of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So in this way, the gas like carbon dioxide by the biomass gasification is produced, which is not more uh, harmful gas is said. So in this way, the 
there is a formation of again hydrogen so that hydrogen can be said as a green hydrogen at, as it is produced from the waste things or the trash so uh, here there occurs the process of waste management and energy production at the same time now third very important is the photoelectrochemical photo electrochemical water splitting that is water splitting with the use of photo as well as electrochemical reaction so here there is a use of photovoltaic cell you might know guys photovoltaic cell it is used for the purpose of producing energy that is solar energy particularly those solar cells which are there generally uh, at our home also the solar panels are attached so that solar panels are nothing but the panels or the modules which are produced from the small solar cells which are called as a photovoltaic cell or PV cells. So this PV cell is having its tendency to convert solar energy directly into electrical energy and that can be directly used. There is no need to store. So, uh, so this photovoltaic cell if we are going to use we can say that it is nothing but the green energy source to produce the hydrogen. So that hydrogen will be the green hydrogen. So in this way the electrochemical processes are done. Again there is a use of some electricity or electrochemical reactions are there by using the photovoltaic cell that is the solar cell so again here hydrogen can be produced by the water h2o will give h2 and o2 if two molecules of h2o are used two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen will be produced so in this way there are three basic important preliminary methods to produce hydrogen which are used worldwide okay now second is the storage when once that hydrogen is produced how can it be stored so there are four different methods given number one compressed gas hydrogen can be compressed and it can be stored so when it is compressed it will require a very high pressure nearly 350 to 700 bars of pressure which is nearly 350 to 700 atmospheric pressure is there which is 5000 to 10000 psi so such a very high uh, pressure is required to store the hydrogen as a compressed gas secondly liquid hydrogen Hydrogen can be stored in to its liquid condition where there is a temperature should be very much minimum. We know that hydrogen generally in any condition at a room temperature or below that hydrogen is in the gaseous state. So when it is to be converted into liquid at that time it will require a very high pressure sorry very high temperature that is a very low temperature actually means very high range of low temperature. So it will require nearly 2 minus 253 or uh, 253 degree Celsius temperature required for the liquid hydrogen to uh, store it as a liquid in this way it can be stored then metal hydrides when metal some metals are there they are producing hydrides means when hydrogen is treated with metal formation of metal hydride sometimes not only metal but metal alloys are there so that metal or alloys forms the metal hydrides and that metal hydrides can produce that hydrogen whenever it is required so in the form of metal hydrides again it can be stored while last is the chemical storage as a chemical storage means hydrogen is converted firstly into the uh, carbon uh, that is ammonia we know that ammonia is a very fast gas which can be produced from the hydrogen so it is uh, stored as a ammonia and whenever it is required ammonia will get decomposed and hydrogen will be produced for the purpose of getting energy or wherever it is required in this way there are four different methods for the the storage of the hydrogen which are very important and in very short we have studied here while next is an applications where that hydrogen is used and how uh, it is said that it is a green hydrogen so first in the electric vehicles as electric vehicles are not producing any type of more innocuous gas it will be uh, there is no any uh, gas produced so it can be used so as a h2o2 fuel cell also it can be used so in the electric vehicles generally in cars buses trucks trains wherever the vehicles are there which are there on the road on the routes so it can be used second is the aircrafts in the aircrafts as it is uh, the batteries or the cells which are produced from hydrogen or wherever that hydrogen is used energy is produced it is having a low density so that it can be used for the different purposes like in the aircraft so uh, for example of that hydrogen oxygen fuel cell it is used in the aircraft it is because one of the byproduct of it is a water which can be used by different type of or by the um, hydrogen uh, 
oxygen that is water which is produced can be used by the astronauts also and it will require simply fuel of hydrogen and oxygen so in this way it can be used in the aircrafts in the ships also as it is having a high efficiency low density it is used worldwide then ammonia formation hydrogen if it is available uh, simply and nitrogen which is there available in a very high amount ammonia can be produced which can be stored can be used for the different purposes in r and d also then um, methyl alcohol hydrogen can produce methyl alcohol or it can be stored as a methyl alcohol also sometimes and can be used methyl alcohol is also one of the reagent which can be produced from that hydrogen then gas turbines for the power generation which is uh, gas turbines for the power generation in the industries or factories where there is a gases are there and its turbines are there so there is a use of hydrogen for producing power as a uh, for generating power then using the rocket fuels as i said already the in the rocket fuels as with for as it is having a low density and high power high amount of energy can be stored with a very low fuel uh, Uh, provision so in this way it can be uh, used and last is a cement and glass manufacturing in the industries of cement uh, cement manufacturing in the glass uh, manufacturing nowadays the fuel of hydrogen is used with a uh, which is one of the replacement or substitute for the fuel which we are uh, we uh, would uh, have been used from the long time no uh, that is the fossil fuel or the uh, pulverized carbon so here there is a use of directly hydrogen which will give a very high amount of uh, energy so in this way guys today we have studied the production storage and applications of hydrogen and that hydrogen must be the green if we uh, would uh, do such type of processes to produce the hydrogen and use that hydrogen it will be very much beneficial for the some um, for some uh, maintenance of the uh, life on the earth or sustaining life on the earth as it is there it is one of the means uh, it can, it it will avoid the uh, greenhouse gases it will avoid the pollution as there is no any by product so in this way hydrogen is useful for the lot uh, so guys not only for study only not only uh, only to write in our paper but we can use this green hydrogen in our life so that it will save the uh, life of the uh, animals or the people ultimately us also plants as well as for the non living things it will not harmful so in this way guys today we have studied this topic so uh, you have listened this topic where carefully i think you are staying tuning with me so thank you uh, for that guys if you like uh, my videos like each and every video share it to your friends if they uh, require such type of videos and importantly sub uh, subscribe the channel if not already and also hit the bell button so that you can get such type of videos uh as soon as they are uploaded so uh, once again i am thankful for you all guys thank you very much